All right. Give me a second. All right. Thanks for joining in, Gaurish. Welcome to another session of the Digital Marketing. I can see your chat. You're saying that the website is set up and you're saying WordPress site repaired. Meanwhile, I was not able to put menu in the right position. All right. I'll just check that. And you're saying, please reset my cPanel dashboard as not getting any option to change. It is showing some in text and text codes. Give me a second, I'll just go ahead and do that. All right, so you want the uh, theme of your cPanel to be changed, right? Is that what you want? Okay, let me just uh, log into your cPanel and see if I can go ahead and change that. No problem. Okay, so can you tell me your website name, your domain name? Oops. Okay, is that is this what you're seeing when you're opening across a cPanel? Is it the same screen which you're seeing when you're? Oh my goodness. Okay, not sure what is this. Let me see what can I do with this. Mm. Yeah, the fall theme is that one. I'm just gonna see if I can get that back. All right, so I think now it should work properly. All right, so try try opening it at your end. Perfect, it's done, great. All right, so I think you were asking something else also, which is, 
Any other query you got? All right, let me just open this website. All right, so this is a site which you prepared earlier. All right, that's great. Let me just have a look. All right. The menu, one of the menus is right over here. Okay, so we got problem in the menu location. Shall I unmute you? Okay, give me a second. All right, so I've unmuted you. Right, Ganesh, I yeah, if in case, yeah, okay. I'm here with you. Yeah, uh, normally uh, home service and contact should be the sequence. Home service and contact should be sequence. Okay, so you want service first and then contact us to be there. Yeah, this right. Way. But I was not able. All right, can you give me the, okay, can you give me the username password for this? Maybe just try logging in and then see. Uh, yeah, sure. What we just a second. Okay. Sure. All right, so I'm log, logged into the back panel. Let me just see. So I'm going to the menu section. Okay. Appearance and then menu. So you want home service and then contact us. Yeah, right. Okay. Is it possible to remove these things? Sorry, which one? Uh, this, this home thing, this one? Home image and this one, right. I'm sorry, this one? Yeah, this one, right. See, for that you have to change the Home page. Okay. You have to change the layout for that. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. So you have to click on to edit page. Okay.
Okay, this is a theme functionality basically. So for that, that, there would be a lot of coding involved. I think you can go with a specific theme, which is in the same manner which you want. Because okay. this part which you want to get changed, yeah, it's a very much customized thing for your team. That's how your home page is looking like. I'm just checking what can we do for the menu. So right now, home contact services. Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure whether it will happen or not. Because, you know, with every theme, there is, there is always different functionalities. I'm just trying to check if this happens. Right. This happened. So you've got home services and contactors in this sequence. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Anything else you want to change with this? Uh, no. At the moment, no. Because it be, I think okay. it depends on theme. Most of the things. Absolutely. A lot. Yeah. So menu has to be changed from here. Whatever more things you want to add on over here in this bar. You have to do the right. same fashion which I did. So you have to add on those pages right over there. Right? And okay. this menu main is the name of a menu which I have selected to be the primary menu. Okay. okay. Let me see if these pages are working. If I want to add an inquiry form, is it possible to add in this one? Yes, yes, inquiry form is possible. So there are various inquiry forms, plugins which are available. So there is the sumo.me, sumo me, which is there. Okay. All right, so this is the one. Okay. Okay, now you have to actually uh, create an account on this. It says connect to more. You would have to. Okay, you have to create an account and then work around on it. Okay. All right, so you will find uh, several videos around this. Okay, how to add the inquiry form.
All right, so there are quite many uh, videos around this. So make sure you watch these videos before you walk around it. So that you don't really do something uh, wrong, all right? So this is one of the most popular. You have to use the pop-up function on your All right. Once you, you know, create across an account, then you can get all these options. All right. Okay. Sure. In this quick bonus video, see the claim address. All right. Otherwise, there are many, many plugins. If you keep searching, you'll find many plugins. This is the most renowned plugin. That's why I told you about this. You must have seen there were more than 100, 1 lakh, uh, you know, downloads for this. So, yeah. I could also tell you there. You'll find many uh, articles around this uh, essential WordPress plugins. Right. which can help you to build and beautify your website further. You can read more about it. So this one, 24 must have WordPress plugins. So why I'm sharing this with you is because if you are very much interested in uh, beautifying and creating across a very professional looking website, with various functionality you can actually use you know use this i said wp forms is another one okay there are quite many constant contact is very much like mailchimp so you can even connect mailchimp account of yours with wordpress so when you go to oh. see this is powered by option monster opt-in monster this uh, pop-up kind of a thing which came in opt-in monster this pop up came in, and this is the first plugin which was mentioned over here Opt in Monster. So, Opt in Monster helps you get this form fill up uh, as a pop up kind of a thing. Yoast SEO, we have already covered, right? Right. So, you can use whichever ones you find it to be good for you. Now, yeah, right. the quite many. All right, so I think Chitanya hasn't joined in today. Must be busy with something else, maybe. All right, so uh, I'm not sure whether I should go and uh, teach the new uh, topic today. If in case you have further questions, you can go ahead and ask me that. I can. So did you try making uh, okay you will be you'll be making that five so try making new five pages for your website and uh, do the seo part if you remember we started uh, the search engine optimization in the beginning yeah right all right but that that needs to be worked around so do that keyword analysis keyword mapping part please because so this is powered by WordPress, this is a default footer, I guess, default. Yes, we can go ahead and change that also, powered by WordPress and so forth. So the plugin, so the, so you go to the reading section, settings and reading. Let me see where the footer comes in. Okay, so it should be an editor, appearance editor. So let me just check. So editor and all right. So you're looking at uh, activating email account. 
yeah. One second, let me just check the. Yeah, so. Okay, let me just check the footer part. The footer, first you said powered by WordPress, that's what, if we can change that. Okay, it's not over here. So header is right up over here. So there is something. All right, so footer is right up over here. What do you want in the footer section to be there? Okay, I can manage by Kintamani Associates. That I'm sorry? Whatever text I want in future footer, I can in, uh, enter here, right? Okay, okay, you'll be able to do it, right? Okay, so. Yeah, right. Okay, now you want the uh, active email account where? Where do you want the email account to be active? The website, which the uh, the domain which you have purchased, you want email to be active on that. Yeah, right. Is it possible? Right, you can do? active. Yeah, you can active the email account, but uh, we actually give 500 MB space, so uh, you have to keep on uh, checking whether you're not, uh, you know, exhausting yeah, that exhausting, space. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. So 500 MB is the maximum. So you you can go to C panel and create that. Do you want me to create or you know how to create that? Uh, just show show me how to do it. Sure, sure. Give me your C panel details, please. Yeah. Okay. Is this particular server managed by you? Yeah, this is my, oh. actually my company's my I mean my own server. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. So make sure you change these password later on because these sessions are getting recorded, right? That's fine. Right. Okay, so over here, uh, files, database, domain, and email accounts. So you have to go to the email account section. Now, what do you want me to create an email ID with? Mm. Gorech and natusolutions.com or whatever you want. INF. INF. Info, all right. So you can create on your own. Okay, I'll, let me just go ahead and uh, create for you. And password. I'm putting the same password as the CPAN password for this. Okay. Okay. What, okay. Or if you want some other, I can I can put that across also. I'll change it. Later yeah, on. you can change it later. Right. So it's 500 MB total you have for your website and email together, right? So I'm putting across 250 MB as the total limit for this, clicking on to create account. Now it's been created. Now how you can access it, you have to go ahead and open your domain forward slash webmail. So your website is natusolutions.com. So for cPanel we do forward slash cPanel. For email yeah. we'll do forward slash webmail. Okay. Now here you will uh, go ahead and enter across your email address and your password. Email address would be info at the rate.
your password is same as the cPanel password which you provided me. Now you can use any of these three options and select on one of these three. If these are just themes, that's it. Okay. All right, so now you can check the email right over here. Sure, sure. Perfect. Yeah, thanks a lot. No problem. Uh, is it possible to connect Any this? Any other thing which I can... Uh... Yeah, is it possible to put this uh, login thing on the website? Uh, the email, email login. Yeah. Well, you would have to create a uh, button on that. You can do it. So, let's say you create a page. We, let's say this is your website. You want, let's say, a, a button which says, go to webmail. The moment you click onto that, that particular URL will open up, which will natusolutions.com forward slash webmail. Okay. So that's, that's something which you can do. I hope you're getting me what I'm trying to say. So let's say even yeah. if you go ahead and uh, put a button right up over here in the contact us page or in the menu over here on the top, you just have to put across a button or a text or so forth. And the moment somebody will click onto it, it will go to your uh, webmail URL. That's all. Basically, it is a hyperlink, right? Yeah, it would be hyperlink. That's correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. So. Do you want me to do that for you? Shall Shall, shall we do it? Just show once. Oh, you will do it. Sorry. No hyperlink. Just you want to do it? How to? Okay. How to put the button? So let. How to put the button? The button could be an image, image kind of a thing. Okay. So on the top. So now this is again a theme related thing. If you want it on the top, on the top in the sense. Somewhere over here, then there would be coding involved. If you just want it on the page somewhere over here, that can be done. Okay. All right, so if you want on the about us page, then it can be there. On the, uh, any of these pages, about us page, contact us page, services page, it can be there. That is possible, but on the theme if we talk about, which is on the top, then we have to customize the theme somehow.
Okay, so okay, so it says image can be set up. But this is the image that changed over here. But why would you want that to happen? I mean, uh, why somebody can be able no, to just, log in? Just, just, just for a query because I had seen some websites, corporate websites. Yeah. That's okay, you've seen corporate websites with name log. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For the employee section, yeah. uh, they have put some login. Okay. Right, right, right. See that for that you have to do a lot of uh, you know, editing from the coding point of view, and you have to customize the theme basically. So okay, okay. That's for that, I would require some programmer. Yeah, some programming. Either you go ahead and buy across a theme which has got this function straight away. Mm -hmm. Because what our objective is to really go ahead and uh, do those things which are easy to implement. So now with these widgets we can do more. I don't want to go ahead and confuse you with all these things. This is way too vast. You know, when you start working on the development, it's way too vast. If you start uh, looking at every single thing, you might divert, might get diverted from the marketing end and focus more on the development aspect. So that's why I recommend yeah. having a related website, which will not give you a tough time and it will help you to get the website set up and then focus more on the marketing. Sure. Right. All right. Anything else which you're looking for? Uh, no. This is okay. Did you try out the, the Mailchimp tool or you have to do that? No, Mailchimp uh, I couldn't because I was busy in some of our advertisements. Okay, okay. No problem. So I'll do that, I'll do that. Okay, okay. Mailchimp and Insta page also I did uh, one page only. That too couldn't come. Okay, okay, you did. Okay. Right, so try out the Mailchimp, Insta page, and also work around that. Uh, that you know, at least create five pages and do the SEO part, which we did. Yeah, right. That I'll complete. Yeah. Right, so uh, what should we do then? Shall we then uh, meet next Saturday and then continue further with the new topic and you will have more doubts related to MailChimp Insta page? Yeah, sure. And as, right, so let's do it this way. Yes, Perfect. sure. Perfect. Sure. So uh, we next week and uh, make sure you do all these things, please, right? Definitely. All right, all right. Thank you, Kirish. All right. Sure. Have a good day. Bye. Good. Bye. Bye.